Okay, boys and girls, we're still talking about plural nouns, and we have to have a rule about when to add ES. So for most nouns, to make them plural, meaning more than one, it's so simple, we just add an S. But sometimes, we have to add an ES. So we have to have a rule about when we add ES. Well, we add an ES, when the word ends in S, X, C, H, or S, H. And we can even hear it when we have to add that ES. So if we have a word, and we're going to get some examples here. So let's look. Most of the time we just add S. Like in the word, the players shake hands after the game. Players. We just have added S to the word player to make it plural. Now here we have got the word coach, and we're talking about more than one coach. Coach ends in C-H. We have coaches. Do you hear the S at the end of it? Coaches. That is an E-S ending. Coach ends in C-H. That's one of our special endings. Our special endings are S, X, C, H, S, H. And so we have to end those words with an E, S. So let's practice. It says change the singular noun in blue to its plural form to complete. So we're going to write it. Where we need to be. So you're going to tell me how I should spell it. Who'd like to try number one? It says stack the box in the garage. I'm going to need to make that word plural. How do I spell it? How is it plural? Alisa, box becomes what? Re say the word. Boxes. Boxes. B-O-X-E-S. You notice it adds a syllable. Boxes. Boxes. We don't hear an extra syllable when we add just an S. There's no extra syllables to it. Who'd like to try number two for me, Juliana? This fell and broke during the earthquake. This is. And how do we spell it? D I S. E-S, we have that S-H, S-H ending. Who'd like to try number three for me? Ethan. No, the clock shows the correct time. Clock is. Is clock is a word? Clocks. Clocks. That isn't one of our special endings, right? Not a special ending. So it's just clocks. How do we spell clock? C-L-O-C-K. Okay. Number four, please. Clark. Say the word lunch with an S. Make it plural. Lunches. So how do we spell lunch as? L-U-N-C-H-E-S. E-S. When you say it, it's easy to figure out, right? You say lunch as. You hear the as, which is yes. Number five, please, Yanni. Does this store have good fries on both Okay, now here's, here's a tricky one. Because this word already ends in E, right? Yes. But are we adding an yes to it? We're just adding an S, right? Because it already ends in E. So spell prices. P-R-I-C-E-S. Okay, so that word is not an E-S ending. It's just an S ending. It just happens to end with an E. It just happens to end in an E. We're just putting an S on it. Who'd like to try number six, 
please. Number six, Libby. Jody. Okay, wish. How do we make wish plural? Wish becomes what? E S. Wish becomes wishes. It has that special ending. The special endings are. Let me see if I can bring myself back up here. Oh. Well, that's okay. Here are our special endings. S. Oops, now I gotta go back here. The special endings are S, X, C, H, or S, H. When we see those, we're definitely going to add, add an E, S to a word. Now, you have a very short paper that you're going to do. And it says for us to write the plural form of the noun in parentheses to complete the sentence. So you're going to decide, are you going to add an S or an ES to the word? Oh, that's gonna be tricky or not. What do you think? What do you think it's gonna be tricky or not? Not tricky, I'm seeing people say not tricky. So put your name and please put your number. And you may begin. There's only five questions here. It should not take very long at all. Good luck, all.